Hello Cancer and welcome back to my channel and this is your reading for December 2020. Now very quickly before we go into the reading you've probably already seen these but another quick plug of the diaries the gratitude one um, you can write down at the start of every month things that you're grateful for and then there's a plain monthly diary um, just to keep you in a positive frame of mind. The spirit messages, um, I've channeled a message and that's at the start of every month. So the message relates to that month and again a plain diary. So you can record stuff as you're going through the month and hopefully those messages will resonate with you. And you wouldn't have seen these, these are um, a new out tarot diary. Um, I've never used a tarot diary before but um, I heard about them and thought I would have a go at those. Um, they're both the same inside. So at the beginning, you've got all information and trigger words to do with tarot and learning the tarot. You've then got a year ahead um, little diary. And then you've got some tarot spreads and places to write down the results of your spread. And then you've got your year ahead by a week view. Okay, so they're the two tarot diaries and they're on Amazon as we speak. Just one of the tarot diaries still needs to go live, but all of the others uh, out okay cancer so this is your reading like i say for december 2020 these are general readings so they'll um hopefully resonate with you but they may resonate with people in different ways okay so we need some cards for cancer for december 2020 um also i'll put in the link below a link to the um amazon account where you can buy the books but i'll also put a link to your year ahead I um, so your year ahead reading for the next year is already out. Um, these two videos should come out more or less at the same time. So when you've watched your December one, perhaps you'd like to watch your uh, year ahead 2021 and see what that holds for you. And it's uh, I do the cards month by month. Okay, so December, we look like we've got the Tower card. That's not too good, Cancer, is it? Okay, I'll just pull out some more cards for you. And interestingly, because two of those cards that's come out come out in your year ahead spread as well. So that's quite interesting that the, the energies of those cards are uh, sort of hanging around there. So you've got the moon card, you've got the two of cups, you've got the tower, the two of wands, the three of pentacles, the two of pentacles and the knight of wands. Okay, Cancer. So we're just hoping for one more card for you. Okay, I'm going to use this wand. Um, just like to say thank you very much. Um, a cancer friend brought this for me, so I know there'll be watching and they'll be keen to see that I'll be using this wand um, in the reading. Now start off with the moon card. That can be about um, being guided by your instincts but it also can be about there are two sides to things and you can't always see the other side. You know you've got the white side, you've got the dark, the light side, the dark side. That's um, how we sort of see the moon and that's what this card can represent. Okay now to me this two of cups here this is about a relationship with another person okay so there's something going on i feel with another person that you may not know all of the information okay interestingly enough we have the tower card now i'm going to pull another card to clarify we've got the justice to do with this situation okay so there's going to be a tower moment and when there's a tower moment foundations that were not as good as you thought they were everything comes crashing down okay and the tower card it's the universe's way of telling you there's something in your life that's not right you're perhaps not dealing with it or um, not facing it or not sorting it so the universe steps in and along comes that tower moment and it sorts it out for you but this is going to bring justice for you. This is about justice, okay? So I believe this is all to do with the thing that you do not know about, and it's to do with another person. So this will affect you emotionally, okay? 
this will sort of hurt and upset you but it will be justice in the end because the justice card is there and it's going to bring balance but obviously you won't be too happy when you find out something that you know um you don't know at present so then we've got the two of wands so you're going to be looking ahead cancer you're going to be planning for the future you're going to be deciding what you want in your life what you want to keep in what you want to remove okay and down here we've got the three of pentacles that's taken the next step from the decision here now interestingly enough next to it you've got another two now twos are about balancing twos are about decisions and you've got two of those here and i feel because you've got the justice card here this this balance is it this is a big going to be quite a big thing in december is bringing the balance back bringing back the justice so this tower moment even though we're not too happy about it it's going to bring the balance back to you so i do feel that this is actually it's going to turn out to be a positive thing even though you probably won't think so at the time it's going to bring you what you deserve okay because a two of pentacles can often be quite a positive card to do with money um it could do with decisions um but I, I really do feel that it's positive, okay? So this, I do feel, is a positive, balancing situation. Then we've got the Knight of Wands coming in here. Um, now, Wands, like I say, they can be to do with work, they can be a, to do with creativity. Um, they can be changes. The Knight of Wands can be about changes, okay? So this is definitely bringing about changes, bringing about a good balance for you. And the five of cups there look at him here looking at his cups looking at his spilt emotions looking at what he's lost so these changes do mean you getting rid of something and we said that here with this two of wands you will be looking at your future you'll be planning what you need to remove so there's going to be something that you're not going to keep in your life could be a person could be a situation could be thoughts feelings you know the way you see something there's going to be something in december which you decide you don't need anymore. The tower moment's going to get rid of it. The universe is going to do this for you. It's going to bring about balance for you, okay? And um, you will perhaps be sad to see it go. You know, that be you know could have been a friendship that was nice while it lasted, but you need to move on now and you need this balance because this has been a bit unbalanced in your life. It's been a bit one-sided and you need it to be fair for you. This is your justice. Now we need to move on to the guides and the um, angel and saints card. Now, I normally, I've forgotten to give you your message. At the start of the reading, I channel a message for you. I'm so busy talking about my wand. The message I got for you, Cancer, for the month was feel it grow. So what is going to grow for you? Is it going to be new emotions? Is it going to be, um, a new way of doing something new thoughts when you get rid of you know whatever it is you're getting rid of in the tower moment you're going to be feeling something else grow um you know when when something ends uh, you know we haven't got the death card to say something's ended but you've got changes you've definitely got changes and these changes are going to bring about a new growth of something else and you're going to be feeling it grow okay child that's a change of energy, I feel, you know. Children have that um, innocence about them. Again, the innocence could be about um, this information that we didn't see, we're innocent, you know, this is not our, the fault of cancer, you know. Um, you've got that childlike energy, but I do feel that that is about um, sort of new feelings, new emotions, uh, uh, almost bringing a, a skip back into your step kind of thing you know shadow okay this is a healing card a divine healing and the shadow there can show that um you know wherever you go obviously your shadow goes with you i think this thing whatever it is is been playing on you to me this shadow is about something that's been playing on your mind something that's been hanging in the background and it's almost like you're going to get a freedom from it that's how i feel um the justice it, it's letting you go you're 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 getting freedom from something okay um this shadow is not going to be there anymore um in the background for you um you're going to sort it out 
you're going to be balanced you're going to be healed from whatever it is that seems to be hanging on your conscience hanging on you um, hanging on your mind okay cancer and you're going to start feeling it grow could be new emotions you know perhaps you're going to see somebody in a different light and you know it could be a revival of a relationship who knows okay here's your love and relationship cards for december 2020 this could be the one okay cancer and you've got express your love so let's do this one first this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so for those of you already in a relationship you know, this is the person you seek, this is the person you wanted, you're already with them, you're quite happy with them. Um, perhaps whatever this is has been about them and you've been deciding whether you still want them in your life. And we've got express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So again, this is about coming together. There we go, making the romantic gesture, bringing your relationship closer together okay cancer so if you are single then perhaps you need to express your love for somebody this could be the one for you so let's hope for those single cancers there is somebody on the horizon okay so again thank you very much cancer for watching your reading and um i'll put the link below in the description for the diaries and your year ahead um will, link will also be down below in the description I hope you have a lovely Christmas and I'll see you again in the new year.